Hey guys, I'm Chewy Mew, but my real name is Eric, and welcome back to another Chewy Mew review where I basically review my Spider-Man figures. Or, you know, anything else really if I want to. So in a past review, I took a look at this lizard figure. It's the Marvel Legends Fearsome Foes box set lizard. And I also took a look at the, the Fearsome Foes box set Carnage, which these two guys came in a box set together. There was five figures. There was Carnage, Lizard, Vulture, Spider-Man, and Rhino. I, however, don't own the Spider-Man or Rhinos, which means the last figure I've got from this wave, from this box set, is Vulture. These two guys aside, and let's take a look. They won't stand up now, whatever. So here's Vulture. So I got all three of these guys at different yard sales. I, have, I never got the box set new. I did get them at yard sales, though. And this guy was at a different yard sale than the other two. And... He actually, the guy that sold it to me actually had the display base, you see here. A good image of a vulture. However, these two faces, they don't look the same. They don't they don't really look that similar. Very top heavy. Probably won't stand here on his own. Legs are super crooked here. Uh, they look very like bow-legged. Probably because of the way he had, had him standing. Definitely, uh, it's like, I think it's like actually one of the only vulture figures released by Toy Biz. I definitely think it's... I definitely still think it holds its it holds its place as the best vulture figure. But yeah, a lot of fun with this guy. Pretty cool. I typically pair him with uh, Doc Ock. I don't know why. I, I felt like those two guys were were like would be a good team. So as a kid, I would always pair this guy and a Doc Ock. I'll take a look at in a future video. But let's take a look at his articulation. So the head is on a on a hinge. It looks up, not really that much. That's it. And looks down, very well down. I think it rotates, yep, his head rotates all the way around. Kind of creepy. He has a hinge here in the stomach. It doesn't really do much. It doesn't go back more, kind of just catapults forward. And then it doesn't really go back, or doesn't really go down. It goes back and just catapults forward. Doesn't, not really too useful. Doesn't really do too much. Next here in the arms, his arms rotate all the way around. The left arm is like very like hingy, like it makes like Makes like a crunchy sound, whereas the one on the right, it does make hinginess, it does have like a hinge, like crunchy sound, but it does not as much as on the left. Rotation here on the, like above, below the shoulder joint, it doesn't, it's not super movable, it kind of gets stuck here because the wings, it would rotate all the way around, but with the wings it doesn't. He has only a single bend in the, in the elbow, which, because he has wings, it's kind of fine, it'd be very funky if he didn't. The rotation here in the wrist. So you can actually see some, looks like some gunk in here. That's going to put these little glue dot things. If I move that one there. You can see like the little, like a little, like a residue or something in there. And that's because I put these little glue dot things I showed in a previous video. Where I stick them in joints of figures when they get really loose. And it tightens up the joint that way they're not loose anymore. And so I put it on the figure because his, the, like with how heavy these are. The wings or the wrists. And this joint here would get super loose, so I put those there so it wouldn't, you know, be like crazy wiggly. Because his joints definitely got wiggly, kind of like this Spider-Man's hand, the first Spider-Man I ever have. The first Spider-Man I ever had, ever got. And yeah, like his joints being super loose. The Vulture's joints weren't as bad, but they definitely got pretty loose. His wrist, ro his wrist, his wrist, <laughs> his wrist, his waist rotates all the way around. Also, his fingers close into a fist, both sides. His legs kick out a pretty good distance. It's sad, sadly, his legs are kind of like bow-legged, kind of very curved outwards. Probably gonna like heat that up and maybe you know take care of that. The legs rotate here, and Vulture, believe it or not, can do the splits. You know, he's definitely one of the few characters I would think cannot do the splits, not even close. But the figure totally can. Double bend in the knee on both sides. Rotation here in like the the middle of the leg, like the shin area right above the shin. The foot goes up that pretty good. It's on a pretty tight hinge, so you can hear like flicking. A bend at the toe, not doesn't bend too much forward, doesn't go back at all, kind of gets stuck here. And if you take a look on the bottom of the foot, I think it's this foot. Take a bottle on the foot, it's really, really tiny, but it does say 2006 Toy Biz. That's gonna be all for this review. Or actually, wait, no, it's not. This is gonna be a special. Or we're gonna take a look at these three figures. So I only own these three figures from the box set, unfortunately. I would really like to get that Spider-Man if I could, but on eBay it's a couple hundred bucks for that Spider-Man, and I'm, I'm fine not paying that much. I'd rather not have the figure, you know? And also the Rhino, I'd like to get the Rhino too. And since it's a box set, 
I'm gonna rank them from least favorite to favorite. My favorite out of this is Vulture. Vulture's definitely my favorite from this wave. Hmm, who would be second place? I'd have to say Carnage is second place. This is definitely my favorite Carnage. I think it looks really, really cool. I think it looks really, really nice. I really love that the, the, all the texture on it and stuff. That's all 3D textures. His costume does have 3D textures and stuff, like 3D lines and stuff. This guy is third place. I think these two, I think this figure is amazing. I think this figure is also amazing. And this guy, I think, is amazing too. But I just think he's the most amazing. He's the second amazing. He's the third amazing. But let me know what you think about these three figures. Just my camera there. Let me know what you think about these guys. Let me know which is your first, second, and third place. Let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. And we got three villains here. I don't know how I'm going to do this this time. Wow. wow.